These girls love the boy. These girls love the boy. They love the boy. These girls love the boy. These girls love the boy. They love the boy. These girls love the boy. These girls love the boy. They love the boy. What's going on, YouTube family? It's your boy Mark, and I'm back with another video. And in today's video, I want to talk about um a lot of the racial tension that's going that I've been seeing going on in the news. Um, my father actually sent me a news article yesterday that um really got to me because we're living it seems like we're living in such a time where it's become the new normal to alert police of whenever there's a person of color body in a public place and this particular place was at Yale University there was a student a um, black student by the name of um, Lolad Senegal think that's her last name I'm not much I'm not sure but I'm gonna put the link to the article below um, she was actually um, just she had finished a paper and she fell asleep in the of comedy she's a graduate student at Yale University and one of her white student counterparts called the police on her because they said that she was suspicious and she was just laying in the common area and it seems like this has become the new normal in the society that we have that we are living in that it's okay to criminalize people of color's body and victimize people of color's body it's like every time you turn on the news or you look at any media outlet or any news outlet it seems like this has become social acceptable behavior behavior under this trump administration and the only thing that's good that's coming out of this is because it's taking the mask off of what other people tried to act like was hidden and didn't exist. A lot of people tried to act like racism did not exist anymore, but under Trump's administration, it just ripped that mask off and the true character of America is really showing. Um, you had, I think about a couple weeks ago, at the University of Arizona, there were high school students, two Native American high school students, um, taking a tour of the University of Arizona. They were prospective students, um, and a Caucasian lady called the police on these Native American students saying they looked out of place. Now, I don't know about you guys, but since when did the university setting become the fashion industry? I didn't know that we walked around the university campus with headshots trying to get signed by an agency. Since when did you have to have a particular look to belong on a university campus? And this is starting to get on my nerves. It's starting to rack my nerves. It's starting to seriously like annoy me that this is becoming our new normal within American society to call the police on people of color's body. And it's like, I don't see how you could call the police on somebody of indigenous descent when Arizona is rich in indigenous history because before Mexico became a part of the United States, it was a part of Mexico. Before the United States basically stripped Arizona, Texas, California away from Mexico, New Mexico, all those places along that southwestern and western border the united states stripped away from mexico and turned it into american territory and it just seems like this is becoming a new normal and it's really aggravating and just like at one of my best like one of my real good friends school at st john's university which happened about a month ago um a couple students sat there and photoshopped I, I believe it was like a picture of four or five black men on a on a on a Photoshop the heads of four or five black men on, on, that belonged on the college campus onto white students' bodies and said buzzword and buzzword. And it's like if you think of, like if these people could sit here and post this on the university Instagram account, what will they do next? It's like what would they, it, it makes you feel almost uncomfortable to go anywhere. Then you have this whole incident that happened at Starbucks where you had these black men that were in a public setting, weren't bothering nobody, just waiting on someone and they get arrested. It's like, is this become the new normal? It's like, 
Should I sit here and be afraid for my life sitting here at a public park and then a police officer coming up to me sitting here saying, oh, Mar oh, excuse me, sir, you don't belong here. Has this become our new normal within American society? But like I said, the only good thing that is coming out of this is because it's showing the world what people of color have experienced for generations and generations and this is not some made up facade that we didn't create it or this is not some fallacy that we created trying to sit there and play victim to a white America this is something that people of color regardless of your background being indigenous being Latino being black being Asian anything and this is a time where we need to band together instead of sitting here separating ourselves by division and trying to sit there and say oh one person's struggle is greater than another person's struggle we need to band together and stick together and fight this racial injustice together because when they sit there and ostracize one they're going to ostracize another and I just had to get that off my chest because a lot of this racial tension is starting to aggravate me and it's really starting to get to me. Um, I'm going to put the links to uh, all these new, this, these news articles that I put down below in the description box. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from me. Please give this, a, this video a big thumbs up. It'll be greatly appreciated. And if you don't like what I said, you can give it a thumbs down. That's fine. And about living in the American society that we live in today now. Um, remember, it's your boy Mark. Remember to be awesome. Stay awesome. You are awesome. Deuces.